back with this interlude. Let's see. It looks like it might be from Gilgamesh's perspective. Well, it must be, right? The place is not too pleasant for him. Frustration and delusion, envy and jealousy. This place permeated with emotions is like a cursed room. Sounds right. It should have been his, but this room was never used for him. Oh, I see. This is Shinji. I get it now. All right, all right. We turn this down really quick. This is all his delusion. The stranger's child spent a few years in here and threatened the Mato blood for a long time. Or like saved it. It's the only past he knows. His father never said anything, but his grandfather told him a bit of what happened here. His father did not choose him and decided to kill off the Mato blood, but his grandfather wished for the revival of the Mato family. That's why he has no feelings toward his father. Which is interesting because I don't know if like Zero retconned the fact that Carrie did kill Shinji's dad. But I guess how would Shinji know that, right? So he would make his own reasoning or whatever, whatever uh, Zoken told him actually happened, right? His father taught him existence and failure. His grandfather taught him superiority and privilege. Thinking about what his mother gave him, Shinji laughs. Whoa, first of all, women are not needed at the Mato household. This is the first hearing about Shinji's mother. He heard that his mother is some carrier, but she must have become useless after giving birth. Carrier? It's like a term used within Mato. It sounds very... Very, uh... I don't know. It just doesn't feel right. He can bet on it that he'll find what used to be his mother in, his, in this room. Wow. But he has no intention of searching for such a thing. First of all, he does not want to see that which gave birth to his unskillful body. The basement is filled with decay. Strange worms are wriggling around deep within the dark. There should not be any more nutrition to suck out of here, but the worms are still living here in this underground training area. No. From the beginning, this place has been used not to raise people, but to raise bugs. What can be seen inside the dark are swarms of bugs with black wings. Even the shadows on the walls must be black bugs. In it all. A golden man unsuited to this lowest pit is there. The golden man archer does not look at his master and just stares into the darkness. You know, I really liked seeing some of Shinji's internal uh, monologue there, or just his thoughts. I really liked that, because I, I didn't know about his mother and the fact that she was discarded so easily. You know, it's, it, you know, him being raised by Zoken essentially really puts into perspective, and through the twisted, like, way Zoken's still carrying out the Mato uh, training and and practices like why Shinji is such a piece of shit. Talking in delight, he walks towards Archer. Archer finally notices his master. The red eyes move. Yeah. <laughs> And you know what's so funny about this? They haven't revealed that it's Gilgamesh yet. So with Shinji saying Archer, he's like, what? Does he mean Archer? I wonder if like if anyone had that feeling the first time. Like, what? What does he mean Archer? Shinji's pressured by the red eyes, but he still approaches Archer. Even if Archer may be an ominous existence, he is only a servant. Therefore, he maintains his arrogance against Archer. He shows leniency, but he still displays that he is the stronger one. Oh. Oh, is your grandfather. I think it's a little different. <laughs> Oh, 
人を見る目だけはあるよ一応世話になったしさ聖杯を手に入れたら例の一つでもやろうかって試案中 Joyful laughter echoes through the room それじゃあ始めようかアーチャーもう人目を気にする必要もないんだ手っ取り早く殺しまくってさじゃんじゃん魂を貯めて強くなってよそうしたら次はあいつらだ目障りなセイバーを潰してエミアにお礼参りをしないとね He pats Archer on the shoulder Archer watches as if something unpleasant has touched him 何ほら行くって言ってるんだよアーチャーどこの英雄だろうがサーバントってのはマスターの命令には絶対服従なんだろ He must have imagined himself raping Saber and letting his friend crawl on the ground. Jesus, man. Wow. Wow. He orders Archer in high spirits. But the Golden Man does not move. Shinji. You are a Seihai to you, Mono. Likai s h i n And he says his master's name for the first time. No. Seihai ga hoshi no na. それを手に入れようか俺は聖杯を手に入れるためにお前に力を貸している我らにとって共通の目的は聖杯だけだからだまお前の気持ちはわからんでもないが復讐は気持ちがいい快楽を求めるのは人の証だするべきことを済ませたのアーチャー smiles for some reason, sensing something evil in it. Shinji finally feels uneasiness about the servant's identity. The eighth servant, a heroic spirit that should not exist, the strongest king of heroes said to have existed since the last Holy Grail War. So, you are, Kite Nakatane. Shinji speaks, still trying to pres preserve his superiority. Nanda. It's a natural question. A heroic spirit that is half immortal and has all the treasures in the world. What can this man possibly wish for now? Archer says so with surprise. His face is smiling as if he found a small happiness. Wallewa, なら全員殺したんじゃないのいやいやそれがな一人も殺せなかった Sorry, he shrugs his shoulders ironically and steps forward A deeper darkness He raises his foot over the dark shadow だがこの世界には余分が溢れている十人どころか千人という人間を選んだところで殺せない人間など出てきまいまったく恐ろしく人間に優しい世界になったもの It's gonna be so interesting finally watching Babylonia soonish and、uh, seeing you know feel わけわかんないな結局何が欲しいんだよアーチャーお前だって欲しいものがあるから聖杯を手に入れようって言うんだろ Archer does not answer. The golden man does not even turn to his master and. 
多いということはそれだけで気色が悪い。Lowers his raised foot into the first of all, the music was perfectly timed there. Lowers his raised foot into the darkness. A smashing sound. On the ground are numerous smashed bugs with more swarming around. And that's old Gilly's wish. Well, that was cool. Uh, you know, I, of course, Shinji is written to be hated. I do hate him. Well, not, I don't know. He just sucks. But, you know, seeing, seeing a little bit about his、uh, resentment and the way he perceived that room and perceived Sakura being in that room and what happened to his mother and, and the way he sees, like, women now and, you know, his thoughts about Saber. It's just so fucked up, man. Like, it's, it's hard for me to feel sympathy for him, but. I'm like understanding why he sucks. I slowly opened my eyes. The night that felt like it'd last forever has ended. I don't know if I could not bear the pain anymore or if the pain went away at some point. Anyway, I feel no pain and I don't feel sleepy nor tired. My head is cleared up as I managed to get about three hours of sleep. I get up from the sweaty futon. Then, as soon as I get up, my left foot slips. Oh, that's right. He's about to get all the symptoms of projecting. I touch my left foot, thinking it's strange. There's nothing wrong with it. There's no pain or blood, and I don't feel like I'm touching my leg. I don't feel anything on my left leg or my left arm. He actually had a stroke. I try pinching the left side of my chest and again feel nothing. Guess my body hasn't fully healed yet, even though the pain went away. The whole left side of my body is numb and it doesn't feel like it's my body. But I think something like this happens frequently. Yeah, that. This is like the numbing one gets from having the blood circulation to a limb cut off temporarily. Uh, not quite. Well, it moves fine, so it should heal in time. It reacts slowly and it feels like I'm moving it using a controller, but it shouldn't hinder my everyday life if I'm careful. I refrain from using a knife this morning and make a simple breakfast consisting mainly of bread. My dominant hand, the right hand, is good, so I can use the frying pan. Cook some ham and eggs, instant clam chowder, and make breakfast for three. Itadakimasu. The two bow and dig into the toast. Saber eats the toast and sat out like always, munching and nodding. Munch, munch, yeah. It's interesting to see Saber using chopsticks, but Western food suits, suits her more. Saber's usually quiet. It's not that she's untalkative, but it seems like she considers silence a virtue.、So、this is how she is during meals. It's easier for me to stay quiet during meals, so a meal like this is ideal for me. Then I realize why it's so quiet this morning. In a word, <laughs> Ujina didn't stay over last night. I give Ujina her mug. Ujina <laughs> gulps down the hot clam chowder like some kind of sports drink. I bet there's some special coating on her throat. What? Sakuya was so good at me, my son, this time. Nani got the no disco? Hm? Just to see what. じゃないか。単にお見舞いに回ってるだけなんだけどね。それも昨日で終わったから、今日からはまたのんびりできるなり。He puts margarine on her bread while she's speaking. Doesn't really matter, but Fujina doesn't use butter. I can ask her why, but I don't want to, since I'm sure I'll get a stupid response. Damn, Shiro. まあ、フジネ、入院したやつで重症なのは何人ぐらいいるんだ。重症な子はいないよ。今は病院で様子を見てるだけで、週が明ければみんな元気に登校できるって。だから大丈夫よ、シロ。今回の事故は気にしないで、気楽に行っていいんだから
Regina bites into her toast. She looks so carefree that looking at her makes me feel like I can trust her. Every little thing. She has a peaceful smile. Yeah, at times like this, she reminds me that Fujine is Fujine. That's almost a memeable phrase. Yes, people die when they're killed. Oh no. Shiro, if you don't want a tiger dojo, please. うん。まあ、いや。今日は昼食抜きなので。少し遅くなるけど、昼飯時には戻ってくるから。昼ご飯は俺が作るよ。そうですか。シロ、そういうことはきちんと言ってもらえればこまります。<笑> I, I mean, yeah, she has a point. He's gonna be fucked up all day till Archer can correct him. Left side of my body is still numb, but it doesn't hurt, so there's no problem. Oh, bless your heart, Shiro. I can't tell Saber about such a thing and worry her. I wave goodbye and go to the door. Can't have energy without meals. I leave Saber's complaints behind me. I touch my numb left leg. Didn't happen when I was in the house, but I start feeling sick once I start walking. Even though it doesn't affect my movements, it's a big mental burden to walk with a numb body. Even though she healed up, Saber got her throat cut and was smashed against the wall. Tosca took that hammer-like blow to her chest. Should be nothing for me as I didn't actually take a hit. I step out with my numb left leg and start walking down the hill. I feel slightly nauseous. I walk to school with ghost-like steps. Thank God for Avalon. Then, school's over before I notice it. It might be because of my body, but I don't have a sense of time. I don't remember anything about the lectures, and I'm not too sure what I did, either. <laughs> Left side of my body is still numb. Even though I don't feel anything, having it numb for so long gets me worried. The nausea won't go away either, and of course, Kuz Kuzgi wasn't at school. I grab my bag to go home. I think I've forgotten to do something, but I should remember once I go home and rest. I remember when I walk up the hill with my numb left leg. I forgot about it since I had my hands full with my body and since my head was spaced out. Well, I'm sure nothing big happened since she didn't come see me. Considering my condition, I can contact her once I get better. I announce myself loudly and head to the kitchen. I put the food I bought in the fridge in the refrigerator, wash my hands, and put on my apron. I'll be making codfish pot tonight, so I'll use some meat for lunch. I think about making teriyaki chicken and start getting ready. Sabra must have heard me as she comes in from the porch. Crap. I dropped a dish in my hand since I was preoccupied with Saber. Surprised as well, so I respond stupidly. I pick up a piece. I drop it. I guess trying to pick it up with my left hand was a mistake. 
Well, that's a good lesson. My left hand is still numb, so I'll be really careful when using the kitchen knife. <laughs> Wouldn't that like give her energy technically? Well, I don't want that either. I'd be a failure as a cook. I take 200 grams of chicken, put it on the cutting board, and carefully ready my fork. I have to make the main dish with care because of what I told Saber this morning. Saber replies as if she can sense my enthusiasm. I'm more enthusiastic now. I'll poke some holes first with the fork and... Oh, right, it's uh, Rin. I wonder if they're gonna keep the gag here or if the gag was here originally. Let's see. I jog to the door. It's rare for someone to come visit at this time. Jina doesn't ring the bell and she has a spare key. I don't have many guests, and since there aren't that many houses around, I don't have many neighbors. Well, it's not anyone hostile since my father's boundary field isn't ringing, so I waited someone from Fujina's place. Hey, and don't know this guy. I open the door. Then, my mind freezes. We stare at each other silently. Well, I'm just dumbfounded, but Tosca looks angry. Tosca? Okay, so in the anime, he opens it, sees her, closes it again, and ponders. <laughs> Tosca glares at me silently. This is bad. I don't know why she's mad, but I feel like I've done something really bad. I sigh with relief. It's surprising enough to see Tosca in my place, so having her get mad at me here is like an out of this world experience. I have to take care of this troublesome situation as fast as possible. Hey, I make a face like that. I get a bad feeling, so I ask timidly. It must have been the last straw. As Tosca is good at reading what I fear the most, this is Rin about to remind Shiro whose route this is. Yeah. She smiles like a devil and says a devilish thing. That's right. It was Tosca that cheated my wound on that night I first met Saber. But then I was just confused about this master thing and the fact that Tosca was at my house didn't register. Even if we're cooperating, Tosca is Tosca. She's a school idol and a girl of my age. It's an outrageous situation for her to come into my house. Wait, why is she coming in? <laughs> The unstoppable force. The intruder, Tosca Rin, comes into the house. Object in a loud voice, but it has no effect on my enemy. The intruder carelessly goes into the living room, leaving me confused out in the hallway. So, after the three of us have lunch, we talk about our future plans. 
The topic, of course, is Caster. We talked for about four hours on how to beat her at the Ryudo Temple, but the results are not good. サーバントは正門からしか入れないって言うし。そうですね。あの山には霊体に対する強力な結界が張られていますから、私では正門から突入するしか手はありません。クラス的に単独行動が可能であるアーチャーならば、多少の無理は聞くでしょうが。as not a characteristic, I would think it would be independent action. That's interesting. That's cool. Ne. Muri ste hihe shikitta karada de keidai ni agatta ra caster ga machibuse de iru wake daro. Son na no ii mato janai ka. Ma ne. Mato iru aitsu ga mato ni sarete cha shou ga nai wa. Ma, assassin dake nara saber to archer no kombi de taoseru daro kedo. Keidai ni agatta ato. キャスターをどう追い詰めるかも問題か。エミヤ君の話じゃとんでもない魔力の貯蔵量だって言うし、下手に追い詰めたら流動時ごと道連れにされかねない。確かにキャスターは潔い死を迎える性質ではないようでし
その時はお前が解き伏せてくれよ分かってる分かってるエミア君の料理の腕はお昼で確認済みだし藤村先生のことも知ってるわ両方とも承知の上だから気にしないで<笑>後悔しても知らないからな Look away from her and head to the kitchen. Then, I wash my hands, go to put on my apron, and notice that it's not there. No. First of all, I don't even remember taking it off after preparing lunch in front of Tosaka. What? I look around. Tosaka looks at me, laughs, and. So, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm not going to go to the apron. 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 Really? Speaks with an expression of triumph. Cooking is awesome. I cut the codfish. I've cut up the cabbage and the white radish is grated. The pot is boiling. It's a simple dish, so the soup is like the only thing I can work on. That went well, so all that's left is to prepare the plates. Oh, here we go. Had to go for a second. There's commotion as Fujine comes home. Okay. ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、
シロー食器流しに集めといたよなサンキューんじゃさっさと済ませるか I get up and head to the kitchen 洗い物なら私がやろっかごちそうされっぱなしじゃバランスが取れないし Tosca gets up as Fujine sits down. The proposal is delightful, but I can't let a guest do the dishes. Fujine is obedient, maybe because she's full now. That's absolutely why. It'd be easy for me if she were always like this, but that'd be kind of boring as well. True. She is the tiger. I dropped another plate. It's been 20 minutes since I started doing the dishes. This is the second plate I've dropped on the floor. I can't excuse myself saying that it's because of my left hand my left hand is numb. I must be lacking concentration if I'm dropping dishes because of such a small problem. I calmly think for a second that I should put it off until my left arm heals, but I shake off the idea. I roll up my sleeves and continue with the dishes. I can only accept it if it's some outside factor, but I can't accept an internal factor causing it. There's no way I can't win against myself, so I can't admit defeat. Uh -huh -huh. As a result, I recklessly increase the damage. This is the third plate I've dropped. Put a towel below me after I dropped the first one, so fortunately did not break. So it shouldn't be a problem, but... It's really awkward having Tosca's eyes on me every time I drop a plate. Fujimura-sensei, I can hear Tosca from the living room. <laughs> if only. Uh. I don't like that bigger font, Fujina adds. Tosca ignores her and stares at me. This is hard. Half my body is numb, so if she watches me and distracts me, whoa. Cluck my tongue and look down at the broken plate. This is the fourth one now. I knew I was going to drop it, but I couldn't move my left hand quickly enough. I slowly look behind me. He's watching me. Tosca is observing me really closely. Then, she suddenly gets up and comes over here. Tosca rolls up her sleeves and stands by the sink. This can't be helped. It's hard to stop Tosca when she makes up her mind, and to be honest, it's vexing, but Tosca looks so beautiful when she's washing the dishes, and I'm fascinated by her figure. <laughs> Damn, Shiro. Ruchin is the only one in the living room when I get out of the bath. Also, a nice thing to do by Rin. You know, that's... What a decent person would do in that situation. Tosca's shoes are still at the entrance and I bet Saber's at the dojo. It's almost 9 o'clock now. I... Oh. Rin point. Saber point. S silly choice. Okay. Uh... As much as I want to do Mandarin, 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 I feel like I'm going to do that when I go back at the end of this route and choose all the choices. But, uh, so I'm just gonna, just gonna do it basic. The problem is Tosaka. It's getting late, so I have to get her to go home. Does she mean the shed? But why would she have any business there? The winter air cools down my warm body. I can't see the stars because of the clouds and there's snow all over the grass. I go through the yard, shivering. I consider buying a coat while I make my way over to the shed. That's funny. That's <laughs> funny. Oh, 
確かに寒いわよねここ He's suspicious He acts so suspiciously that I'm starting to get curious どぞの扉開いてるな私じゃないわよ初めから開いてたんだからそれおかしいな外から鍵かけてたはずなんだけどそれこそ冤罪よそもそもそのオンボロ内側にしか鍵ないじゃないうんそうそう土蔵はいつも開けっぱなしで中からじゃないと鍵はかけられない<笑>でなんでそんなこと知ってるんだどうボイオル She bites her lip. Beginning to understand that Tosca is really weak against surprise attacks coming from unexpected places. I urge Tosca to go back to the house. Then. So, you're not going to be able to Tosca glares at me as if challenging me. I rated myself at the sudden change of atmosphere. I felt the music stop. Tosca narrows her eyes after seeing my reaction. Huh. あれがどれくらい馬鹿げたことかエミア君にはわからないでしょうね手順や略式もなし強化の延長で投影をしようなんていうあなたは全てにおいてデタラメよ、うん、悪かったないいだろうどうせあれは強化の練習なんだから成功しようだなんて思ってないんだあくまで基礎の確認に過ぎないそれがデタラメだって言ってるの基礎の確認で投影をするですっていい私以外の魔術師にそんなこと言ってみなさいあなたガラス蓋付きの標本箱にピンで飾られるわよ This seems a little harsh Tuska's words sound like a joke but she's completely serious すまん、トウサカお前の言いたいことはよくわからないんだが要するにもっと修行しろって言いたいのかけどそうね今すぐに戦力アップを図るなら少し手順を変えてあげるだけであっさり使い物になるかもしれない。Something like that. Where did that, ang where did that anger go? Tosca starts to ponder seriously. 手順を変えるって強化のかもう何聞いてたのよ、ノンカン。強化じゃなくて投影の方に決まってるでしょう。半人前のする強化なんて当てにならないけど投影だけは別よ。一時的にせよアーチャーの剣を投影したんだから再現できれば即戦力じゃない。Oh yeah, you would. But uh, you know. ちいちもともなんだが、昨日のは偶然だ。もう一度やれって言われても多分できない。Dude had a stroke. それが半人前だっていうの。できた以上は偶然だろうが必然だろうがものにしなさい。だいたいあんたのは偶然なんかじゃない。私みたいに外界に働きかける魔術師は再現できない魔術なんて山ほどある。Wow. けどあんたは材料を全部内容から出してきてるんだから、What? あんたが生きてる限り再現できない魔術なんてないのよ。内界から出している。Isn't that natural? Magical energy is made from the magic circuit within you, so it's all coming from within you. 独学でやってきたからしょうがないんだろうけどかなり重症よね投影はともかく他のことは一から教えてあげないとダメかトスカサイズ No, I'm an amateur, but it pisses me off if Tosca says so <笑>余計なお世話だ今まで一人でやってきたんだからこれからもなんとかなるそれより話し合いはどうするんだよもうこんな時間なんだいつまでも道草してらんないぞ So, this is definitely a visual novel thing. I don't think they had this talk in the anime. Because this is when they were like, what, sitting outside on what, the patio? And Tosca was pretty much immediately focused on about if you had fun. And I wonder if she's about to get into that. What time is it? 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 What time is it?
女の子が夜で歩く時間じゃないなんだまだ全然早いじゃないまあエミヤ君がそう言うなら手っ取り早く片付けましょうかトスカナンツンヘッドバックトゥダハウスまだ早いってどうしてさ For a girl going outside at 9 o'clock is like midnight She still said it's early is Tosca not self-conscious that she's a girl <laughs> Oh Shiro I shake my head and erase the ominous thought. Tosca calls out to me. Calls, calls. I run to the porch. We get away from Fujine, who's in the living room, and continue the meeting out on the porch. Right, porch, not patio. I expected it not to finish so easily because we've talked so much since noon, but. Tosca concludes. Yeah, so that's the story. After saying something dangerous, Tosca opens the sliding door. Cold air comes in. Maybe this porch is special as it's only a bit chilly. Just like that night five years ago. Oh, this porch is warm enough to be able to sit down and watch the moon even during winter time. Mm-hmm. Oscar murmurs while sitting at the porch, staring into the yard. I sit next to her silently. She said she wants to talk, but she doesn't say anything. I can't do anything else, so I stare at the yard absent mindedly. I can't see the moon. My breath is wide, probably because it snowed earlier. When I look to my side, Tosca is staring at the yard with wide breath as well. I'm trying to remember the songs. This is a ever present feeling, right? I'm trying to, like, put it together. I can touch her shoulder if I move a bit. I'm not disturbed by that fact. Is it because I'm getting used to it or because of the winter night? Tosca is so close to me, but I feel so calm. I ask her, feeling that she's waiting for that question. Oh. Oh.そのエミヤ君はそのままでもいいのかなってふと思った。そのままでいいって犯人前でいいってことかよ。そうじゃないんだけど、そうなのかもね。エミヤ切り継ぐって人がどんな魔術師だったか知らないけど、この屋敷はすごく自然なのよ。魔術師の工房の癖に開けてる。四方の門を開け放たれていて、入るのも帰
In spite of her shaking knees, she bit her lip and acted firm as usual. I realized at that time that she might be killing her true self by acting like a perfect magus. I get uneasy, so I ask. She simply says so. There's no bluff nor lie in her statement, and Tosca is smiling. そうか。なら学校はどうなんだ。魔術師としてやっていくんなら学校に行っても無意味なんじゃないか。無意味とまではいかないけど、寄り道でしょうね。けど無駄じゃないわよ。学生って楽しいもの。私ね、基本的に快
それがわからないやつだから頭に来てるの<笑>もうどうして誰も一言言ってやらないのよ She shakes her fist. I have to stay silent for now. I'll stay quiet until Tosca's anger goes away. So, after venting for a while. <laughs> She says so as if smacking me with the glove. That fight, of course, is when she chased me around the school. I was cornered and had to surrender, but the match wasn't settled because of Ryder's interruption. Alright then. Tosca psychs herself up before walking off into the living room. I don't know what's going on, know what's going to happen. So, should I be ready for anything? Yes. The answer is yes, Shiro. Anyway, I have to take Tosca home. It's almost 10 o'clock. I don't know what Fujine will say if I keep a girl at my place for so long. Fujine is watching me with blank amazement. That's weird. Fujine should approve right away, but she doesn't seem to be in a hurry. Wow. Rin, she's got she's got that gift of gab. Mao,おかしなこと言ってるのはシロでしょ。今日はもう遅いからトウサカさんを止めるんでしょ。トウサカさん、さっきそう言いに来たけど。Of course you did. Fujina <laughs> munches on the rice cracker. She seems normal and it seems she thinks nothing of the emergency situation of having Tosca stay over. It looks like Fujina has surrendered to Tosca. As have we all. Then. Alien I bump into on my way to the outbuilding outbuilding says so lightheartedly. Her appearance makes my head spin. She's not in her uniform. This person is in my hallway saying something ridiculous. Oh, um, Alright, waving goodbye, she goes down the hallway leading to the outbuilding. In the days I watch her go and look at myself in the mirror. Her face is as red as an apple. Damn it, to match my hair. What's she thinking, sleeping in the same room even if we're far away from each other? I'll pour cold water on myself and cool my burning face down. I'm off to do so I won't be able to concentrate on my training having Tosca in my head. Get it together. The lights go out. It's midnight, right when the date changes. I concentrate on my training while looking up at the frozen moon. Moon. I insert a new nerve into my spine. Ugh. I make a magic circuit within me, make magical energy, and understand the structure of the wooden sword in my hand. Make a magic circuit. Jesus Christ, Shiro. I put magical energy into it and strengthen the wooden sword. I analyze the structure, alter it, and reinforce the matter. The usual process goes too smoothly. I don't know if it's because I became a master, but I can now easily strengthen things which used to have a success rate in the .01 digits, and I can make a magic circuit in a flash. No, it's not because I became a master. I'm only copying it. His swords. I'm only imitating that knight in red that I saw at the Ryudo Temple. So, man, that night really made all the difference. I'm imitating his twin swords, his sword technique, and now even his breathing. It's copying the copier. I can't help but feel self-hatred. Emiyashiro's skills improve just by imitating him. I know it's not my own power, but I have to rely on it. It was because of his techniques that I was able to fight off those bone creatures at school. 
It was because of his projected swords that I was able to fend off Kuzuki's attacks. Even now, I know that I can reproduce those swords if I seriously follow the manufacturing process. Not trace on, sympathy start, but trace on, projection start. The words are still the same. There's no need to change the spell if it still works on me. First of all, I only know it can use one spell to change myself. I put down the strengthened wooden sword. The left side of my body is still numb. I was optimistic that it would heal if I rested today, but it wasn't that convenient. If this is the compensation for magic above my level, duplicating Archer's Twin Swords, I might destroy myself if I project one more time. That's a good instinct. Yeah. I remove the nerve inside my spine. My body is free of the poison called the magic circuit and tension escapes my body. Then... Saber quietly comes inside. I must be relaxed, done with my daily routine. My voice is surprisingly gentle. <laughs> Answer a smile with a smile. Saber agrees and sits next to me. ね。ああ。欠かさずにやれっていうのが親父の教えだったからな。けどまあ、教えてくれたのはそれだけだったけど。それだけでは、魔術師としての知識のあり方も教授されてはいないのですかああ。そもそもさ、教えるべき本人が
I explained to her how it felt weird from this morning, how it's not affecting my movements, and now it's probably the feedback from last night's projection magic. Saber looks at me with uneasy eyes. I try to smile back to her, telling her it's alright. Here we go. The Naya and Red is standing at the door. Saber jumps up as if to protect me. To her, he's an enemy that assaulted me. He's an enemy to me as well. Those words he said before he slashed me would not get out of my head. Archer does not answer but takes another step. Saber's enmity turns into an intent to kill. I push Saber aside and confront Archer. I still don't like him. Our mentalities are different, but more than that, I just can't deal with him. I feel a chill running up my spine the instant I see him. But he falls under the category of natural enemy. I gasp. Archer's comment is so accurate that it's scary. Archer reaches out. I take my top off and show him my back. Archer silently places his hand on my back. I feel small pain, sensation, I feel heat on the numb left side of my body as if needles are picking at it. Probably the best news Shio could have got. そうだ。お前は勘違いをしているようだがな。魔術回路とは作るものではなく、表わすものだ。一度作ってしまえば、あとは表面に出すか出さないかのものでしかない。そのような勘違いをしているから、本来使われるはずの回路が放棄され、
And I think tomorrow is uh, the whole caster ordeal because we go on the date with Rin and then like on like the bus ride back doesn't like like you find out about Fujin. I don't know. I have to I'm trying to remember. That is something I learned about him. When he says taken away, I'm guessing numbed or just straight lost it. I don't know. Maybe that's why he said necrosis before. I guess maybe that happened to him. He turns and tries to leave. I stop him. I want to know why he helped me now after trying to kill me before. Drown in your ideals and die. The meaning of it. The uneasiness in my brain won't go away unless I hear it out of him. Out from him. There's no hesitation. Archer declares seriously. That pisses me off so much that my whole vision turns white. <笑>なら、お前の戦う意味って何だ理想がないお前は何のために戦うんだ知れたこと私の戦う意味はつまらぬ正常対義理想そんな不確かな意義など偽物だ剣を取るのは<笑> ただ、自分のためだけだとそうだ。お前の欲望が誰も傷つけないという理想であるのなら好きにするがいい。そんなに他人を救いたければ救えばよかろう。ただし。それが本当にお前自身の欲望ならばな。my mind freezes. What did he just say? Jibunmoishi的戦うのならばその罪も罰もすべて自分が生み出したもの背負うことすら理想のうちだだがそれが借り物の意思であるならお前の唱える理想は空想に落ちるだろう。In a word, it is a fake. I like that. The way the screen went black and centered it. I can't talk. Oh, Saber. I can't think of any objections. Archer's words pierce my heart like arrows and Saber's. But it goes the same for Saber as well. This is like the sad part about this route is Saber doesn't really get her closure uh, like at all. だな。他者による救いは救いではない。人を叶えるのは本人の意志と結果だけだ。他人による救いなどそんなものは金貨と同じだよ。I can't speak. Something. I have to say he's wrong, so why? No, that's... He turns his red back to us and leaves. I can't think of anything to say. The darkness falls. We cannot look at one another and just stare at the back of the guy who's no longer there.
Ah, uh, shit. All right. Well, that's it for this time. Thank you all for watching, of course, and we will be ready for witchcraft next time, apparently, which, you know what that means. We'll see what bad ends I can come across and uh, be heading into part two. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.